Zendaya, I'm curious for you. I mean, Rue gets pretty low this season, even though I'm not sure she's actually officially hit rock bottom yet. What was the most difficult aspect of her journey for you this season? Was there a scene or a moment that was most difficult for you? Um, I mean, it's all, listen, it's, uh, uh, it's all pretty painful, uh, to be honest, because I care about her. Um, I also care about, you know, um, her future and I care about her life, um, and her happiness in a way. And I think it's not just because I think she is, uh, a character that I've grown to love, but I also think she's a representation of so many people that are dealing with the same thing. And I think it's, it's so important that we continue to, uh, or my, my goal is that, you know, even when she gets to those low points, you still root for her and love her and, and view her in an empathetic way uh, enough so that you still believe that there is something some hope for her, that there is a future for her, that she deserves love and happiness and a beautiful life, um, even if she doesn't have that feeling. Um, so it, it wasn't it wasn't easy in the sense that, you know, your mind knows it's not real, but your your body doesn't, you know, um, and it's it, and it's um, and it's difficult to be in someone's shoes and do things that you would never want to say or do to people that you care about. Um, it's uh, that's when it gets, it gets kind of icky feeling, you know, because I know that I have to do it because it's, it belongs to her. It's Rue's story and it belongs to her, but it, as in day, I, it's not fun, you know? Um, but, uh, but I think that, you know, you have to go to those points in order to get to the beautiful parts, um, hopefully later, later for Rue. Do you feel like she's at her lowest? Do you feel like she hits rock bottom this season? I don't want to spoil it, you know, because I think that that's part of her journey, you know, and that's a decision that she ultimately has to make for herself. And I think that's part of it is once we get to that point, it's a, is this, is this the end? Is the change coming? What is going to be the thing that stops this endless cycle of pain? I think, and also realizing, I think a, a massive thing here too, you know, major themes for me are hope, our empathy and redemption and to remind her we're not the worst thing we've ever done, you know, um, and that she is still worth, um, worth a beautiful life, you know? And I think it's interesting because it's difficult, um, because you, you don't know what's coming in the sense that when I was, when we were in the middle of the season, there was no ending to the season. And I've always kind of been able to get through the toughest parts of Rue by reminding myself that Rue is an extension of Sam. And if Sam has been able to do something beautiful with his life um, and has been able to move forward and heal and grow, then maybe Rue can too. But I never had that in front of me guaranteed. You know, I, 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 I've always kind of just lived with the hope that that could happen. And I think that we have to, you have to stick with Rue in the hopes that she will get there by the end of the season. And hope is a, is a major factor in this. And, and seeing that also that this, that addiction is someone that is something that doesn't just affect Rue, right? It, 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 it rains terror on her family, uh, on her loved ones, on her relationship. Um, and it's not something that, you know, um, she is the only victim of, you know? Yeah, I mean, Hunter, how difficult was Jules' journey for you this season? Because Jules has some tough decisions that need to be made and are not going to always have, you know, a, a happy outcome. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think even before she, um, before she even can confront those decisions, you have to acknowledge that she's also operating from like a, uh, in like, an inaccurate, um, like knowledge of what her partner's going through. Uh, like, like she doesn't know that, uh, that, uh, you know, Rue's, Rue's, um, actively using again. And, um, and so, um, I think if she did, it would dramatically 
change um, how she how she moved throughout the season. But I also think that's why uh, it's important, uh, or like Elliot's um, presence is important because in a way he's he's like a, a middleman or a um, yeah almost not neutral but um, an independent force between the two. Yeah, I mean, Dominic, what was that like for you to join this duo and take on a character that, you know, you said you don't really consider yourself an actor, but you've also said that this character sort of reminds you of your younger self, but you're also at a point where you've moved past that. So did it provide like self-reflection for you to take a journey with a character like this? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy, first of all, interrupting this, this dynamic, this specific <laughs> dynamic. And then it's kind of tough watching this kid make all these dumb decisions and I mean not out of malice or anything but you know this is just how this kid lives and then being let down and kind of doing all the wrong things and messing up I'm pretty familiar with it so <laughs> yeah I mean what is it like to play somebody who sort of can reflect a, a different point of your life at the same time that you've moved past that and can see that in a different way than you did when you were in it yourself I'm actually really happy that I got to do that because that's all I really know how to do with music. I just talk about myself the whole time. And so I don't know if I could have, especially with my first time acting, I don't know if I could have just jumped into a completely different character and just been someone else every day. I'm really glad that I got to do that. It was a great introduction to this craft. Well, without spoilers, what is Zendaya and Hunter, what can you say about where things will be left with Ruin Jewels by the end of this season could we do we have hope for uh you know a season three for them oh man <laughs> oh, um. this show is listen you just gotta <laughs> write it out you gotta write it out with them and you gotta remember that they're just trying to figure it out and they don't know what they're doing they are human beings that will make mistakes and are dealing with a lot of pain that they don't know how to express and if you can just hold on to that love for them, hold on to that empathy for them, you know, maybe there will be a hopeful ending. And it, who knows if that's with them together or not, but if you can just hold on. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kids. Just kids, guys. Well, thank you for talking to me about it. Beautiful work, all of you. You all broke my heart this season, so thank you. <laughs>